Hello guys, it's Dotgang here with another Mythic Plus video. It's Cathedral of the Eternal Night this time, but only at 12. I'm not pushing keys this week, I'm not going for, for high mythics, it is tyrannical, it is bursting, and I will explain what exactly bursting is and why I won't be doing it. So. A little bit of a disclaimer, I have not done this dungeon on Mythic Plus at all. I have no clue what the mechanics are. I mean, some I do, and those I will be commenting. And the ones I don't know, well, I'll be commenting them after I fail. Hopefully, there won't be many. Now, the reason I haven't been pushing high this week, and I've been just doing... Oh, see this you cannot be in front of the ad it one shots you i found out <laughs> this group is gonna hate me for it all right so um the reason i haven't been pushing keys is because of bursting as i said will i make it oh god this is horrible and uh, what bursting does is once you kill a target you get a debuff on you which ticks every two seconds for five percent of your HP now my druid has four million HP so that's a lot when it like stacks up as a as a balanced druid I am very dependent on my AoE like and this prevents me from doing damage it's like okay you did this damage so now you gotta stop not do anything wait for the debuff to end and then continue playing the game so just right off the bat this is like really boring stuff wow i'm bad at this dungeon so because of this i don't think i will be doing many mythics plus as i said at least not on high and just to prove you, I've only done a Cathedral of Eternal Night 7 just earlier. And I, I must admit, I did not learn much. Like, <laughs> the group was pretty bad. And I did kind of, I did kind of low damage, basically. And I'll tell you why in a second. Oh, my Scotty is not right, but alright. So, the reason I did low damage is that because I finally got the best in slot legendary, which is the helm, the druid helm, emerald dream catcher. So for those that don't know, what this helm does is it drastically changes your druid mechanics and it changes your rotation. So. I just got it a few hours ago and it's something I've been crying about in my guild for a lot of time. Like, oh I need the best in slot, I need the best in slot. Now that I finally got it, it's extremely embarrassing because I don't know how to play with it. And it's gonna take a lot of them a lot of time to get it in my muscle memory so that I can do those fast decisions that are based on the haste I have and the trinket procs I have. So once I get that down, I'll probably make a guide on how to play balance druid. It's something that I've been wanting to do but did not do because of the legendary system. And because I didn't have the best legendaries, obviously. I mean, what's the point of making a guide when you don't have the item that allows you to play your class at the maximum potential, right? I have a few points to make, uh, you know, pr few cons to point out about this helm though. So right off the bat, you need an add-on which allows you to change the queue time of the spells. So in 7.2 Blizzard made everyone's Q spell thingy to 400 MS by default. Now if you want to play this legendary right and you want to keep up the buff, you gotta get this add-on and lower the MS 
of the settings, right, for the queue. Now, did Blizzard really design a legendary for which you need add-ons? Like, I don't, I don't understand. It's usually you get legendaries and then you use add-ons to track the buffs, but you can still track them. You can, you can still look at the top corner, even though it's maybe you know it's causing discomfort. But apparently they designed a legendary where you legit must have an add-on or write a like a like a command that will lower the ms so that that's my first con on it and the second con is more like on the whole legendary system i i find the game to be extremely fun with the legendaries i, I think they're very interesting first off but um the problem for me occurs where I've been playing this game since the start of Legion, right? I bought the game. I played a lot. I've been doing mythic raiding. I've done around 500 mythic pluses. And guess what, guys? I didn't get the I didn't get the best in slot legendary for months and months and months. Like like a lot of them. Now, people that were resto druids that went to balance for fun right they instantly got the legendary people that made alts they instantly got the legendary due to luck like first random heroic they get the thing right so while legendaries are making the game fun i really don't understand why blizzard is refusing to award you for playing the game a lot like it took me months to get the best legendary possible even though i played the game a lot so i really don't understand why they did that because it's really frustrating to like think about it i've missed out on two patches i've been playing my druid at you know substandard potential because i did not have the luck to get a proper legendary and now we're in, into patch 7.2 and I finally need to start working on my rotation and learning how to play with that legendary. So that, that that's my rant basically on the legendaries. I don't know, tell me what you think. Do, do, do you still need the best in slot legendary? Are you annoyed that you don't have it? Or maybe it's motivating you to play even more the fact that you don't have it, right? Because I know people are like, oh, I don't have the best in slot legendary. I'm going to go all ham and I'm going to play even more. I don't know. T tell me in the comment section. So, to show you, it is tyrannical. Bosses have 40% more health. It is disgusting. This guy has 300 mil. Uh, the mechanics of it are, are pretty simple. He does a breath on the tank, right? And uh, he also spawns adds that you need to kill these lashers. Uh, they they create a link between players, and you need to break it by going like 20 yards away, something like that. I'm not sure exactly, to be honest. Doesn't matter. Like it's a 12, and you can see that they they're dying fast. The ones that do matter are the ones coming from the back that we were killing. What they do is they fixate on you, and uh, if they reach you, they they explode. So you gotta you gotta kite them, CC them, and kill them fast. It's kind of like botanist if you do raiding. Like on botanist, you get these ads that run towards the target, and if they reach you, they spawn more. Well, these they don't spawn more; they just do damage. They they explode on you. I would say th this this dungeon the re the reason why I didn't do it was uh, until now was because it was extremely overtuned. I don't know if you guys were following when the patch was released. I remember going on the American like uh, streams and uh, people could not do this. Like people that are extremely good mythic creators, they could not complete the the dungeon on a ten. It was just impossible. It was overtuned as fuck. 
which I, I don't know why was that done, but from what I've seen, now it's been nerfed. But I still don't know me the mechanics of it. You saw me die at the start, because I don't. And um, even if I learn them, there's, there's still gonna be people like me that don't know the mechanics. So I'll, I'll still die and fail because others don't know it yet and how to do it. Wow, five stacks of bursting is not fun. Oof. Let me heal up. Help this guy out. I, like you really don't want to kill these ads at the same time. I mean, there we go. I'm gonna kill this guy. Now I would love like I'm stopping with the divs, but these guys aren't. They're going ham. They don't give a fuck. There we go. Debuff dropped. Let's continue. Alright, one's down. I'm gonna stop the deeps. Debuff is over. Let's continue the game. See what I mean? I mean, it, it's impossible to push timers. Like, you, you gotta stop deeps. Even though you have the, the damage to kill them, you have everything, you gotta stop. You're like, oh no, gotta... Gotta get rid of this debuff. Alright, so this guy... There's one thing I don't know about this guy. I've seen, like, oh, I need to turn away, there we go, whoa, <laughs> okay, so apparently if you're looking, if you're staring him, at him, you die, I did, I did last second, so I survived, it really helped that I have uh, big wigs on, sorry, little wigs, it's called for dungeons, and I, it just said, you know, turn away, don't, don't look, don't look, that saved my life right there. Whoops, there we go. Turn away. Let's rest this guy. Oh. Well, that's not... Alright, so what this guy does is uh, he drops this weapon that circles around the room and you're if you're outside of the room you die. Like that's about it. You get one shot. And then once that is over, he charges on you. So you gotta be behind this thingy to avoid the charge. Now I would imagine on Tyrannical it's a problem because you'll end up without these walls. And he's gonna charge and you won't have anything to hide behind, hide behind. I don't think we'll have that problem on a 12. Because his HP is going down. It's going down pretty quickly. But, especially because I ninja pulled. I think I did, but... It's gonna be clutch actually. Like, look at this. He's 50% HP. And we've got two of them left, so... What gear am I using? Something's weird. One thing that I did fuck up though is that once I died, I forgot to eat food. I don't have the well-fed buff, so I'm gonna have to fix that after this. Alright, so he's, he's at 20%. He's gonna go for the hunter. Alright, we're, we're right on time actually. Perfect. I don't know how many chests we'll get though. Like, I don't have the add-on turned on. Maybe I should have done that, but... Uh. The healer went out of the room, and we don't have a combo res, so... It shows that he can reincarnate those. I don't know why they... Why he didn't do it earlier. <sighs> Alright, 
so like these imps run away for some reason I don't even know the thing is do they give a debuff let's see from what from what I understand summon you yeah they do holy f like you don't okay guys here's a warning do not AOE these imps basically don't do what we just did holy fuck it's sticking for 25% of my HP it's disgusting that's like a million ticks let's see combat log burst hit you for yeah 4.3 mil part of it was absorbed because I have pride us but still I'm guessing we need to kill these small spiders first, like, let me target one. Pre-pot. Oh, I forgot to eat again. Damn it. Ah, whatever. It's only a 12. I don't care. Alright, so this spider is dead. What the hell is the? Okay. So apparently this check or whatever... Nalasha or something. She blinks and then she does a frontal cone attack. Oh, and then you get more spiders. But I don't believe the, these will give you a debuff because they're summoned units and summoned units usually don't... aren't affected by the affixes. We'll see. Alright, she charged again and look at this frontal cone... oh, never mind, we killed her. So yeah, these spiders do not give a debuff confirmed. They are summoned units. They do give some other stuff though. Poison, there we go. Let's melt them. This dungeon has a lot of a lot of area to cover. It's like Arcway, but only more annoying. They, these ho these spinny holes and yeah. All right, time to eat this time. Ajari salad. Nom nom nom. All right, so this boss, this guy is actually kind of annoying. He. He spawns portals here at 50%. Alright. He spawns portals. Let me use Five, a rune as well. And you need to kill stuff Three, and you need to kill the one. portals, obviously. Because they spawn adds. Uh, besides that, he also does an AoE damage thingy. Like, he, he casts it, you'll see. And uh, while he's casting it, you gotta make sure you're in this circle. When the cast finishes, if you're not, you're gonna die. I think you die even in in regular mythic, so... Mythic plus will definitely kill you. Alright, so here's the portal, killing it. And this guy is casting his thing, I'm gonna enter the shield. There we go, all of us survived, and now I'm gonna move away. I think you're not supposed to sit in it if you're not, if the guy's not casting this thing. I don't know the exact reason behind it, but you just shouldn't do that, apparently. Something's not right with my deeps today, though. I don't, I don't understand the problem. This is okay. Huh. 
because that's what happens when I don't have cooldowns. Alright, time to do some damage. Ah, there we go, climbing up the ladder. Alright, so entering the shield. We survived the AoE cast. Time to kill this idiot. again well this was this was simple I think you're gonna agree with that <laughs> like he has a lot of HP but there's not not much to it all you gotta do is go to the middle when he casts a spell. There's not much mechanics to it, so I'm glad. I mean, like, think about it. I've never done this dungeon at a high level. Like, I did it on a seven, and that's it. So, I don't know. I don't even recall like exact how exactly I did it, even though it was a few hours ago. So, all right, we've got one more boss to go. It's. Uh, mm, Mep, me, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Like, Five, four, I'm gonna let some other guy pronounce it for six, you guys. One. This, this is why I hate bosses that are directly one after each other. Though, like, what is this debuff? Oh. Uh huh. Okay. So you get a debuff. One of your party gets a debuff, and you spawn these thingies. All right, and this debuff, okay, inflicts 40k damage. That, that just some flat damage. Uh, this thing again. Whoa! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! There we go. Let me drop it. So this is straightforward. I'm guessing it's only going to range DPS or something, because so far I'm the only one that got it. Wait. this so what happens is this transition is like these idiots are spawning these images of him and he spits this purple ball thingy towards Illidan and one of you usually the tank needs to protect Illidan by you know s stopping the balls with the shield basically it's really simple I'm gonna spawn a thingy again. It really likes me. So to recap, this boss gives you a debuff that spawns a pillar. You need to move away so that the group has space to DPS. And then he has a phase where you need to kill his illusions which are spread out around the room. Okay, this was not the best placement on my side, but it didn't really cause any issues, so it should be fine. Oh, rip. Alright, that's the end of it, We and we two-chested it. Well, that's not bad, I mean, it's a new dungeon, it is hard, from what I've heard. Um, well, guys, if you liked the video, like it. If you have more complicated opinions, please write it in the comments, and I'll see you for the next Mythic Plus, hopefully with better modifiers, modifiers than Bursting and Tyrannical. Good night.